Well, Island Prepper here. I'm um, doing my follow-up video on uh, my AR and my build here, and as well as my 16-inch. Uh, but I want to go through some of the equipment I have on it, which uh, I just added to it on my 16-inch as well as my 10.5-inch uh, from uh, Diamondback. So I'll show you some of the upgrades that I made and how I made them. Uh, plus, I've uh, got a little surprise coming in as soon as it gets here from, uh, I guess it's one of those sites where you buy counterfeit stuff. So anyway, um, I'm hoping that my videos have come out a little bit better now. I just got this new stand. Uh, I lost the connector for the top, but uh, uh, I'm hoping that I'll be able to do some filming. It comes with a remote for the, uh, for the camera as well. So with that remote, I should be able to put the camera much closer to the targets or a little further away so that you can get a full view. And, uh, and basically, um, you'll be able to see the target as it hits. And I'll be able to turn it on and off with the remote, and then I'll be able to edit it. So anyway, I'm going to put you on pause and then flip the camera around. Okay, I'm back. Just finished setting up, trying my remote out. And uh, this little thing here. That I can actually start the video and and shut it off and put it on pause and all that. Anyway, uh, so my last video, I was at the gun range and uh, I was showing uh, you a little bit of my new upgrades and my uh, ten and a half inch diamond back. And then I said I was going to also do a setup on it and get it all, you know, some furniture, well needed furniture on it. And I kind of finished that off already. Almost, I got some things at that I'm going to add here, including I'm going to change my uh, my site here. Um, this is a and when it, they say put a sock on it, I put a real sock on it. There we go. So anyway, so this remote was very inexpensive; it cost about fifty bucks. And this is when I was just learning about shooting, uh, but it is a fairly good. Sight. I mean, I was able to hit at 100 yards, and at the uh, metal sights, which you've seen on the last video, and on that 100 yards, I was actually able to do a headshot as well as a center mass shot on a very small target, uh, metal target. I'm going to say it's about maybe uh, 18 by uh, 12, uh, the target at 100 yards. And I was also able to hit the... Um, at uh, 27 yards and I think it was at 32 yards I tested it out and that's why I was setting my sights I didn't finish doing the whole setup because uh, I kind of ran out of patience a little bit so and uh, I didn't have that much ammo and I wanted to uh, set the new sights on my 16 inch which is the Romeo so anyway but uh, I did get some really nice changes that I did to this so the first thing I'm going to show you here this is the UTG site. Now they had this when I purchased the upper. Uh, it was at Diamondback and it was on sale for $19. So, and I ended up getting free shipping uh, with the upper. It came in with the upper and I got the free shipping with it. So that was pretty awesome. I mean, for $19, I think the shipping alone uh, to Puerto Rico cost $19. So uh, one of the things I did here was I switched over the QD mount and I had to purchase some QD attachments here so and that was the thing I was looking for the last time and here it has I don't want to pull them out because they're really hard to get out and in but it has some uh, rubber sealed uh, what do you call here compartments and that's what makes that cheek rest so nice now the uh, stock um, they came with it uh, from the factory I guess was uh, basically very cheap. It's just uh, the standard ones that come on all of these. But um, it just didn't have a cheek rest or anything like that. Now, I want to get to something else too. So, since I live in Puerto Rico, I want to talk to you a little bit about the gun laws here. A lot of things changed here. So, this would be considered uh, a pistol or you would have to get an SBR license to have it equipped the way I have it uh, right now. Uh, in Puerto Rico, no ATF, no SBR, no special licensing, nothing. The only thing, <coughs> excuse me, the only thing I can't do with it is carry it. Um, so 
If I had the pistol brace on it, then it's considered a pistol, but I have to re-register it as a pistol. I don't need a special license, but then as a pistol, I can actually carry it if I can conceal it. But this is 10 and a half inches. No way I'm going to conceal this. Okay, so anyway, but I can also use a rifle stock on it, which is what I have now. And um, nothing. They can't say anything about it. If I want to use a vertical brace, I can use a vertical, uh, excuse me, uh, a forehand grip. I can use one too. So, but uh, the, the other day when I tested this at the gun range, there were a bunch of cops there practicing at the gun range where I go. And I, I you know, it, the law says one thing and then the next thing you know, uh, some idiot pulls you over that doesn't know quite the law and, and you, you end up going through a bad time even though it's probably uh, illegal the way they do it. So it's best not to push the, the, the issue. So, uh, but the way that it's addressed right now, I can use this with the 16 inch, with the 10 inch, with the stock on it, and it doesn't matter because the laws do not apply to Puerto Rico. Now, here's the nice thing. The law that does apply to Puerto Rico is the Second Amendment. So we have the right to bear arms. There are some restrictions that, uh, you know, to some Second Amendment guys would probably freak over it and, you know, and, and you'd have to move to another world. But, uh, you know, everything has its, you know, laws and everything has its consequences. And, you know, at least we're not California. You can use a 30 round mag, a 40 round magazine. Um, I can buy as much ammo as I want. I can buy any gun I want. The restrictions are no silencers or, or suppressors. Um, and there's one other. Oh, I can't carry two weapons at one time. So I'm only allowed to carry one. So if I have a, a concealed weapon on me, I can't have like a truck gun. So that, that's against the law. So, but if I'm going to the range back and forth, I can carry it. Uh, you should not carry your uh, gun in your trunk of your car and if something happens and you get pulled over and they find it you better show evidence that you are either going to the range or coming from the range and when you go to the range you have to register each time so I basically look at some of the restrictions as really goofy and that some of the restrictions are really good and I'll tell you why I have watched some of the gangbangers in the U.S. and some of the ones here. They're merciless. They, they, these gangbangers will shoot you in a second, in a heartbeat. And I don't care how good you are with your concealed weapon, you are not going to fight these guys. They have all kinds of uh, um, binary triggers and they have uh, all, all these homemade machine guns with pistols. Now... They're crap, they usually have Tauruses and stuff like that. But either way, when you see some of the shootings that are here by, and this is all drug related, you know, I mean, it's not something that an ordinary citizen would have to worry about. Uh, if you're involved in the drug trade, you're going to worry about it because these guys will stop you in the middle of the road on a highway, jump out of their car and shoot everybody in your car. And they all have fully automatic handguns or fully automatic rifles. Um, this is something that where you get to binary triggers or or uh, bump stocks and stuff like that and yeah there should be some restrictions to it and the reason why is because i don't need a bump stock i'm not worried about uh having having a, a situation where i need a fully automatic weapon or something that it constitutes a fully automatic weapon but you know what the criminals can get it they make them they get it all the time they get it right from the u.s and all these criminals they don't give a shit about the law they have these. You're not going to take your little uh, pea shooter. I don't care what the hell you shoot and how good you are. If you're special forces or anything, you're not going to shoot, you know, two or three guys with fully automatic weapons and defend yourself or your family. It's not going to happen. So just keep out of the drug trade and you'll be safe. Anyway, uh, some of the other upgrades that I have is I have the Magpul uh, grip. Okay, now I took this off of that uh, talon that I had. I changed the uh, trigger guard here. It had the stock trigger guard. And uh, I got this aluminum one here. It's a little bit curved. Nice style. You know, it's kind of stealthy looking. Real nice. So I changed that. And one of my best changes was this charging handle. It's ambidextrous. So I can go from both sides. Okay. And uh, basically, uh, the reason why I needed that is because 
since you have your your um, your sight so far back, you know, so you can basically uh, adjust your face to the reticle there. Um, it's kind of hard to grab when it's just that small one and you only have one side to grab. So now it's much bigger and uh, much easier to pull, uh, have it well oiled. This site has three colors. Okay, I don't know if I can show this on camera, but I'll probably gonna try. And let's see what I have there. Okay, so um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but as you can see, there's a blue one. Okay. And then, there it is in green. There it is. And it also comes in red. I'm not gonna look through all the colors on it. Um, and, and believe it or not, for being a cheap site, and I took some of the pieces off of here because I'm not going to use that, uh, that you know, uh, site with, uh, that's on the front there. I wish I could cut these off and I'd actually keep it. But the problem is it is heavy. It did sight in well. It adjusts well. It holds zero because I put it on three different uh, rifles that I had. And on all three of them, it holds zero. It has not changed. It's really good. So uh, I was really impressed by the sight. And it's a $50 site, but I'm going to do an upgrade on it. And it's going to be another cheap site, but better quality one. So, And I've got to be truthful with you. I've used a few cheap ones, and I've got a couple of good ones. And um, the cheap ones are pretty pretty good for what I'm going to I'm not going to go to war. Um, but if I did need it in a pinch, I can definitely use it with no problem. Okay? So um, i got this little cheap site here. Uh, it's called a Benelli, I think. A Belechi. A Belechi. And it goes under a bunch of different names. You can get them on eBay. You can get them on Amazon. So anyway, um, I got that. I wrapped it with my, uh, this is basically like a tennis wrap, but it's breathable. So as you can see, so it doesn't heat up in there. Um, and it's a nice camel color. And if I want to take it off and change the colors, I can. I can even go into snow camel if I want. So anyway, uh, and... One of the things I did here was I changed the location of my iron sights. Now, everybody says try to have them as far away as possible. Okay. So let me see if you can get a better sight over here. Okay. So, if this battery dies out, all I have to do is a small twist, and I got my iron sights. And I got to tell you, since I put them closer, I'm shooting really good with them, and I'm talking freehanding. I'm not laying it on anything. And I'm hitting uh, the the uh, eight inch plates right in the center, um, and fully rapid firing and everything else using the iron sights. So these are cheap iron sights. I think these are Fiatchis that I have, and uh, and they work good. Now, I did a little something else here, where I set it up with a laser, and now with my laser, as you can see there, the laser actually matches right up with the iron sights. Not quite with the, uh, it's a little bit off with the, with the, uh, with the other site, but with this site here, it sets up real nice. So, uh, it's right on the dot. So it has a fi red fiber optic on it. And with that red fiber optic and the iron sights and my laser, they hit perfectly. They match in perfectly. So it's really nice, you know, um, it's nice and comfortable. I managed to make it a little bit lighter than what it was before. And uh, I tried getting some new Picatinny rails to add to the bottom of it. And unfortunately, uh, what came in was supposed to be aluminum. It turns out that it wasn't aluminum. It was uh, steel. It's really heavy. So anyway, I got this forward grip. This is a also a um, Pro Mag. Uh, front grip and it's an angle grip it is really comfortable but it's really too big uh, it feels great though I can maneuver well it feels really good I like it but as you can see here I don't like that space in there it's not designed for this it should have been uh, with the M lock attachments and basically uh, it doesn't have that so over here is the Picatinny rail that I put in here and what I did was I added this little middle piece here to hold my uh, 
my uh, sling. So now on this side, you can see I have an O light. And the O light right now is set with just the laser, but it has a laser and the light. So I'll just put it down here so you can see it. And okay, there's laser and light. There's just the light. And there's just the laser. So now here's the nice thing. I have a couple of different options. So I'm gonna put it on laser and light right now. So I can hold it here and it shuts off. Click it, stays on. And if I hit both at the same time, I go into strobe, which is really nice. Now this is not chargeable, rechargeable, but I got these on eBay, $77, shipping included. What a great deal. I ended up buying two of them. And I had this one on my uh, Canic Mete, which is the right color and fit and everything, really nice. But I wanted to have a lighter light on this since I'm trying to, you know, keep everything down to size. And I figured, wow, let me just put this on here. I have the laser, the combination of the laser. I have the lights. Uh, the only thing I have to do is pull the batteries out when I want to, re you know, and, and put new batteries in it because it's not rechargeable. Uh, I don't know if I can recharge these on my charger though, but I might be able to. So I've got a combination here where I have the, uh, for my front sling, okay, my uh, hand guard, my uh, 45 degree hand guard. I got a laser, I got a light. Whoops, and there goes the electricity in the house, okay? All right, and there it comes back again. So uh, this is Puerto Rico, we get power outages all the time so anyway so this is my my 10 inch diamond back or 10 and a half inch diamond back this is my new setup and now i'm going to just show you my uh new uh setup on the 16 inch so let me put you on pause a sec and let me do it this way